Hello and uh, welcome to my garden today. There's a butterfly flying about which is nice. It's uh, lovely and sunny at the moment um, so I thought we'd come and see a different tree in my garden today. Um, but picking up from what Matt said yesterday about joining in with what other people are doing and sharing about their faith as an historian myself, I'm fascinated by the historical context of the Gospels, uh, not just because of the irrefutable proof such findings offer, but because it allows us an insight into the lives of those early Christians, which can also speak into our lives today. So we're looking again at the story of the Great Commission. And today we're looking specifically at baptism when Jesus tells his disciples to baptise people in the name of the Father, God, the Son, himself, and the Holy Spirit. Baptism is such an important rite of passage as Christians, following the example set by Jesus when he himself was baptised by John the Baptist, his cousin, in the River Jordan. But how much do we actually remember of our own baptism? I don't remember mine at all. I was baptised on Easter Sunday, 1984. That's showing my age now. I was five months and all anyone can remember to tell me about it is that I had an Easter egg and it went all down my christening gown. It wasn't until I was 14 um, when I asked to attend confirmation classes that I made the choice myself to follow Christ. But even then, was I really making a daily commitment to my faith? I'm not sure. Two years ago, whilst in Israel with other people from the church, I had the opportunity to be baptised in the River Jordan. And as I stood in the river, it was a warm sunny day, a bit like this, but a different sort of heat. It was nice to stand in the river because it was so hot, but there were little fish nibbling at my toes. I was suddenly in complete awe at the situation and was overwhelmed by nerves. So I didn't mind that I was nearly at the back of the queue, didn't mind waiting. Matt ended up baptising half of Israel that day as uh, a lot of the tourists there seemed to think he was the official Baptist on duty, uh, which was um, really quite funny if you were there. Jan, um, his wife, ended up having to explain to a lot of them in very fast Spanish that that wasn't his job. Um, but bless him, he baptised them all anyway, because <laughs> that's Matt. Um, but somehow that made it even more special, because those Christians too understood the significance of the act and of the location. When it was my turn, I was so nervous, my face looked as though Matt was about to actually drown me. Um, instead of surround me with the love and guidance of the Holy Trinity. So as I was dunked under once, twice, three times, which felt like an absolute eternity, I felt completely safe and loved, even though half the river had just gone up my nose. So now, when I renew my baptism vows every Easter, I remember that moment. That was the promise that I made to God to follow Jesus. Now, I might not be the best Christian, I'm deeply flawed, and go off on tangents telling you stories like this. But I try and show love to everyone. Part of that love is answering my phone to just about everybody, because at the moment, I'm gonna to have to stop it ringing, I'm so sorry. At the moment, I'm looking after a lot of people. This is why um, I'm late doing my vlog today because my phone hasn't stopped. I am sorting out prescriptions 
um, for a lot of people today and uh, people that can't go out themselves at the moment and I know that's no excuse I should be better organized but these simple acts of kindness go a long way I've been truly humbled by acts of kindness that I've seen over the course of the last few weeks so thank you to everyone who's helped in small ways in big ways every smile every rainbow in a window these are blessings and examples of living the Jesus way the promises we make at baptism and beyond so tonight when we clap for carers and NHS workers remember to say a prayer for them and for everyone who is helping anyone at this time so thank you and have a good rest of the day